our um, instrument has already ran in the background. This is our spectra pretty much for our background. So this is going to be subtracted from the sample that we put on. So um, if you have a liquid sample, you can just have, we have methanol here. And if you just place, it only takes a drop. That's the good thing about um, FTIR machines. Um, they don't take a lot. Just like a drop or two will do it. So we're just going to spit a drop of methanol on our crystal. Right. Just a real tiny bit. We're going to close our compartment. Come back to our screen. Press measure. And you can go ahead. Um, this is before you run it. You can say where you want to save it. Any comments that you have. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this methanol. And now go ahead and run our sample. Okay, so um, it's finished running and this is our beautiful spectra for methanol. So if you look here, this peak right here, around about, where is it? About 3,300, that's definitely our OH brought peak for alcohol. And we have CH stretching there, around about, just below 3,000. So something good that you can do with an IR machine is if I wanted to, if let's say this was an unknown sample, I can click right here the search box. And if you look over here to the right, you can search for libraries and organic libraries, polymer, and university standards. So I'm going to check my library for university standards. And then I'm going to come down to Spectrum Search. I wanted to check my whole search, the entire spectrum. So I search, and let's see what did it come back. The score is out of a, if you check here, it gives you all the different, um, I guess, other spectrums that it's related to. And the score is out of a thousand, a thousand being the highest. So it says the closest one it sees is phosphorum iodide, and it's 875 out of 1,000. That's not really good, and we know just because of what we put in that this is not it. So I'm going to click Organic Libraries. Let's do a spectrum search. Okay, so what did we find this time? And the first one on our list with a score of 912 out of 1,000 is methanol. So it shows you our methanol, and then it shows you their methanol, where they compare the structures. So that's one thing you can do. Um, if you want to do a text search, you can search um, compound name, sample description, um, sample name, molecular weight formula. We're just going to search for all that. And let's say if I were to search methanol. It's telling me that it's 100%. So that's pretty good. Um, you can also do a peak search. You can search If we come out and go back to view, and if you wanted to examine a particular peak, you can right click, drag your mouse, release, and click again. And you can get a closer view of your spectrum. Um, good thing about this machine is you everything has a help button. So if you get confused, always use the help button. And I'm just going to come back down here to the full view for a second. Okay. So we're going to take this back to our view. And I'm going to show
show you guys now the accessory that we use if we want to use solid samples. So, this is our accessory if we want to use solid samples. And if you just follow me over to the instrument, I'm going to show you how we set it up. Okay, so, first thing you have to do is lift up the hood. We're going to place this accessory top of the notches here. So it's kind of, it's not stable yet, but that you, you know it fit into the slot. We are going to just twist these, tighten it. Okay. So you know they're on and they can't twist anymore. Now we're going to use this notch, this controls this, gonna twist it all the way up and then twist it down. So if you have a solid sample, you'll place it just right there on top of the crystal again and you're gonna twist it all the way down. This machine actually has a stopper so it won't let you break the crystal. Um, it will stop letting you know it won't twist anymore but for some it may not have that. So you try not to break your crystal. When you twist, when it can't twist anymore and it makes that little noise. Um, this one, you don't have to put the um, lid down just because um, it has a solid, it's a solid sample and it's already fully covered. And then you just run your background again and get your spectrum.